facts about Earth Day. <laughs> Are you ready for kids or for anyone else? Anyone who wants to learn about Earth Day, you're in the right place. All right, what should we learn first? Well, we have to know when it is, right? Let's start there. Earth Day is celebrated every single year on April 22nd, okay? That never changes. If it's April 22nd, you know it's Earth Day. All right, so Earth Day is on April 22nd. That never changes. You'll need to remember that. I'm going to ask you later on in the video. I'm going to ask you when Earth Day is. I'm just warning you, okay? So you need to know it, all right? Earth Day is on April 22nd. Now that we know when Earth Day is, let's learn about why we have an Earth Day in the first place. Here you can see our solar system. There are eight primary planets, eight of them, but we only live on one, this rocky planet here called Earth. We only have one Earth. So we have to take care of it. Just like how we have to take care of our bodies, exercising is a great way to do that. We know we have to take care of ourselves, and we have to take care of our planet, too. That's actually what Earth Day is all about. You see, Earth Day is a day we learn about ways to protect the environment. Taking care of the Earth is really important. Okay, so on Earth Day, we learn about how we take care of this planet. It's literally a day when we stop and say, what things can all of us, including you, do to help the Earth? One powerful thing we can all do is called recycling. Recycling. Recycling is a way to reuse certain materials to make new things, instead of throwing them away with the rest of our trash. Now, some things can be recycled and made into other things in the future. Other things can't. Paper and cardboard, for example, can be recycled. That's pretty cool. Bottles made of plastic and glass can be recycled. Awesome. Tin cans can be recycled. Aluminum cans can be recycled and more. Now, here's a tip. When we recycle things, we need to make sure the items are clean and not messy, right? This stuff is going to turn into something new someday, so we want to make sure they are clean. They also have to be dry before placing them in a recycling bin. We don't want stuff in there to get soggy and nasty. Recycling bins usually have this logo on them. Have you seen this logo before? Cool. It means recycling, right? When you place materials that are able to be recycled in these bins, you are helping our planet by reducing the amount of waste and helping us make brand new things with them. And what's cool is more and more companies now make things with recycled materials. It's a win for all of us. Another amazing way to help the Earth is by saving electricity. The more electricity we use, the more fuels and resources we have to use, which is really hard on the environment. So when you save electricity, you're really helping out. And it's so easy to save electricity, like not leaving the lights on in your room. If you shut them off when you leave, just think of how much that could save. Or have times when you shut off your devices and go outside to play instead. That will save electricity and give you exercise and fun. And of course, we can help our planet by planting trees. Trees are incredible for the environment. They take in gases that aren't good for the planet and release oxygen, which is what we need to breathe. Trees are good for the planet, good for us. Plus, who doesn't love the shade a tree provides? So nice. So nice. So, on Earth Day, we learn about how we take care of this planet by doing things like recycling, saving electricity, and planting trees. Oh, it's time to quiz you. Let's see if you remember. When is Earth Day? Hmm, when is Earth Day? 
Yeah, April 22nd. Earth Day is celebrated every single year on April 22nd. Great job. But wait, 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 wait. When did that start? Right? I mean, when did we start celebrating Earth Day on April 22nd? What's the history of Earth Day? Well, Earth Day was started by Senator Nelson from Wisconsin. For seven years, he prepared for the very first Earth Day. You can see Senator Nelson here. Thanks for Earth Day. Senator Nelson believed not enough people were talking about the environment and not enough people were talking about protecting the environment. So he designed Earth Day to be an opportunity for people to learn and share about ways that we can take care of the Earth. Then it happened. On April 22nd, 1970, over 20 million people participated in the very first Earth Day. Earth Day was a huge success, and it was clear that millions and millions of people believed that the Earth was worth protecting, and that we needed to do our part to be responsible with this planet that we live on. So what about today? Well, Earth Day has only grown. In fact, today, Earth Day is celebrated in at least 193 countries around the world. It's so cool that Earth Day is a big deal in so many places. So how are you going to celebrate Earth Day? I mean, you're learning about ways to take care of our planet, which is what Earth Day is all about. It's so awesome. But it's not just about learning, but taking action. We talked about three ways we can do our part to help the Earth. Recycling, saving electricity, and planting trees are all ways you can help. Now, those aren't the only ways. There are many more. Earth Day is a great time to talk about all those, to explore how we can do our part. So whether today is Earth Day, April 22nd, or some other day, Let's all do what we can for this rocky planet we all call home. It's a special place. A really, really special place. You watched this video to the end, which is so cool. Real quick as we wrap this up, if you have not subscribed to our channel, if you'll take a moment to do that, we have so many learning videos and we want you to be in the loop with new uploads. So click subscribe if that sounds like a blast. We hope you had a fun time. Thank you for watching. We want to give a massive thank you to our patrons. You can learn how to support us and get homeschool pop tattoos. So fashionable on our website, homeschoolpop.com or by clicking the link below this video. That would be really cool. You know you're awesome. We know you're awesome. And we're excited to see you on the next learning video.